Hi, this is Downtown Day with Broadway Press TV. I'm here in the heart of Times Square where the magic happens, and Disney is bringing a show to Broadway. The Little Mermaid. I don't know. They haven't even done anything here before. I don't know what their chances are. They, oh, they have The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, oh, <laughs> Mary Poppins. Yeah, but were they successful? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it was Sebastian. This, this is, I can't believe it, Sebastian. Me neither, man. <laughs> now, what is it? Is there pressure on you representing the crustacean community? They, you know, we had a conference call okay. uh, a couple weeks ago, and I went down there, swam to the bottom of the ocean, and talked to him, and I was like, look, you guys, I'm up on Earth, dry land. I'm trying to do you guys justice, you know. Any any uh, any notes, you know, anything you want to tell me? And they just said, try not to get cooked. Uh, King Train's family. Yes. Single dad. Single dad. Seven daughters. Seven daughters. That's got to be rough. Yeah. Do you have you have kids? Do you have a daughter? No, uh, I'm yeah. shooting blanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, raising any child, ra having a responsibility like that is hard in any regard. And but seven, I do have help. Obviously, I am the king, so I can sure. tell people to do things. It's still fresh for you, the Little Mermaid here, even though you're revisiting your material. Yeah, it's fresh because the characters are very real, and and you know, look, I'm a father. I have, I have a a, a 19 year old daughter and a 22 year old daughter who are flying out of the nest just like Ariel flew away from Triton. I I feel that story deeply in my heart and, I, and when I first wrote it and you know I had just had my girls on my lap and watching the you know the early Disney animated and it was my heart then. So you're on Broadway. This is your Broadway <laughs> debut. I know it's so cool. It's so like I mean I'm I'm completely living my dream. It's kind of it's it's really neat. It's really neat, and I and I and I feel so lucky that I've gotten to do Phantom and Les Mis, and now I'm here being a real life Disney princess. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Uh, you? I <laughs> I would take a job Disney as a princess. I'm here with Ursula. You're yes. Ursula. oh this to me this is a dream come true. Now it's an interesting dreams you must have. Well, I do. See, I think Ursula gets kind of a bad rap. I mean, a girl comes to her and it's like. She's got a tail or whatever, and it's like, Ursula's like, you know what? I'll trade you your voice for legs. Who wouldn't take that? It is really, now you've just kind of blown our story apart because the way you explain it, it's, you know, where's the dilemma? I dig Ursula too. Um, she calls herself an evil sea witch. She basically advertises her evilness, and yet still people are pulled in. Can you talk a little about how you brought the the sea to the stage I mean it's not animated is it no no it's what's wonderful is that uh, this story since she went back to the original you know is it's actually about a very simple girl she may be a mermaid but she has a yearning and a longing that's so quintessentially human and so we initially going back to that gave us the inspiration for the visual world with my designers we have made a world that's very translucent and sculptural and moving and has the sensuality of water without people actually swimming or flying through the air. And that was the cast and creators of Little Mermaid on Broadway. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she's adorable. Thanks for watching.